Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday, it's the 9th of August, and we've got some new mods. The mod, in front, the mod in front of me was from Saturday, actually, but it's wrapped up into today's. Anyway, we have four updates today. Almost a farm, the map by Kaz64 has been updated. They had a load of extra crops put onto it the last update, but I think the multi-fruit silos have been adjusted to accept everything now. The New Holland T6110-130 by Agro Tonio, the Deutzvar 9 series by Blauer and the John Deere 690 by ARM team have all been updated today. So, in front of me then, we've got the Gaspardo FBR 940, or Liz Lizard FBR 940, 2.94 megabytes download, two slots on console. This is by Thomas96, modding Farmer Boy in Arator 24. It's a 2.7 meter sickle mower, rather than the rotary. It's a sickle mower, the blades go side to side. Very nicely detailed, a couple of options available on this one. Requires very low horsepower to run as well, which is always very handy if you're doing a small farm with small gear. So, 2,500, only requires 25 horsepower, 2.4 metres, not 2.7, I do apologise. Slot count goes down from 2 to 1, it'll run at 7 miles per hour. We can change the design colour, that changes, if you can see the, the black cap bit on there for the start of the PTO, we can change that from black to yellow if you want to. You've got mechanical lifting, so you, you would simulate you unhooking it and you're lowering it down and latching it yourself. Or you can have hydraulic lifting if you want a more modern version. Then you've got attacher type, it's a standard or fiat attachment. Nothing appears to change. Um, I'm not quite sure if there's a specific fiat in mind or all fiats, I don't know, but anyway. Initially I read that as flat attachment, I thought, well, anyway, so no colour choices or anything like that. I put it on this because it's only got. 48 horsepower or 60, it's got a very small low horsepower by right, unfolding L1 and X takes a little bit of time because I've got manual so it unlatches then drops down we turn it on see the sickles going side to side there drop it down and away we go Turn off, fold it up, and there we have it. The FBI 940 by Thomas 96 Modding, Farmer Boy in Arator 24. Next, we have got this. This is the American Fuel Tank by Lancy Boy. I suppose if, you, if we've got American Boy. No? Okay, just me again. <laughs> this is 1.92 megabytes download, six slots on console. Nicely detailed, not a bad size fuel tank. It's a fuel buy point, it's not a storage one. You will find this under placeables and miscellaneous. 5,000 to buy. What should happen? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Press L3. There we go. We are now filling up with fuel. It's a fuel buy point. Lovely. There you go, quite straightforward. American fuel tank by Lancy Boy. Next, we have got this. This is the Modern European Car Ports by Triangles Trouble. 11.22 megabytes down load. We've got a double carport enclosed, 15 slots. Double carport open, which is 11 slots. Single carport enclosed, which is 7 slots. And then... Single carport exposed is 12. I'm not sure why. I suppose maybe for the post and stuff. They're very nicely detailed. They're fairly small. They are carports. You're not going to get massive machinery and huge tractors and stuff under these or in these. They're for your pickups and smaller stuff. You might get some of the smaller tractors, the cabless ones. Each one of them does have an opening storage unit. And each one has something different in there. Nicely detailed, nicely textured. There's no lighting that I can see on any of them. This one has got a little workbench inside it. And then I think we've got a lawnmower. What was it with in this one? 
Might be a lawnmower. There we go. You know, sometimes when I open these things up, because I've made comments before when I said about storage, and I saw, you know, you can put anything on there, you can put a Twix in there, you know. I always wonder sometimes whether you'll get a modder, that I'll open one of these things, and there'll be like a Twix on the floor or something. <laughs> Just, I would absolutely die laughing if that happened, I think. Anyway, like I say, nicely made, nicely detailed. For smaller gear, you'll find them under sheds. The double car port enclosed is 8,800. Open 8,000, single enclosed 5,500, and single open 5,000. Lovely. Next, we have got an egg cell point. I'm not sure how you're supposed to tell whether it's an egg cell point or not. Don't there's anything that gives it away. I do like the drawing. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> um, this is down as Chicken Egg Tent. This by Pablo. 101299 and cash down 18 1.37 megabytes download and three slots on console and it's just that it's a cell point for your eggs this is also found found under placeables and miscellaneous you know Sidorowitz's tent 1500 really cheap for a cell point as well but it is specifically just for eggs if we go into this menu you'll see the egg cell point Sidorowitz's tent 2,201 at the moment, currently, for eggs. Very nice indeed. Next, we have got these. This is the pack of Side Tipper Trans 100. This is by Ralby Christie 1, VSR Modding Sewer. These are eight slots each. This is 14.56 megabytes download. We have got more TARDIS trailer-esque type things. These are Side Tip ones, as it says, Side Tip pack. Uh, 48,000 litre and 100,000 litre with a few different options available. What I do like as well on these is you've got attachment options on the back. So you can have a pin hitch attachment, a ball attachment, so you can daisy chain these or you can mix and match and hook up to other trailers. There's some nice suspension options, well, say suspension options. It comes with a, a sort of working suspension. They, they tip a fair bit actually as you're driving, which can be a little bit scary at times. Now for a 100,000 litre one as well, that's not... Um, a fifth wheel attached one that's not for a semi that's a regular sort of trailer which is pretty nice so under tools and trailers side tipper trans 48 tc is 18,500 so dirt cheap as well for a 48,000 litre amazing and the 100,000 litre side tipper trans 100 tc 45 grand for 100,000 litres. Takes all those crop types. Options available. I think the options are the same on both. Uh, rim colour, at the moment we've got it on copper, which I think I left one of them on. I really do like that. It's copper, stainless steel, dark steel, aluminium, chrome, polished. Then we kind of go through a various load of different options, but those are your more metallic, I say standard options, if you want to call that. Main colour, anything off that palette to choose from. Then design colour. Let's put it on something that's going to stand out. Red, for example. We'll get onto that in just a moment. Um, Trelleborg or Michelin are your options. And each one of those, you've got a standard or a wide. Those are the only tyre options on it. Decals, and that's where your design colour comes in. You can have a star, lines, flag, waves, or back to standard. Then attaches on the back. You've got standard, which has got nothing. You can have unloading mechanics, which gives you a pin hitch attached on the back. Or trailer low, which gives you a ball hitch attacher on the back. And then, like I say, the options on this one are pretty much identical, as far as I can tell. Same for attachers, same for decals. Everything is the same. So, I'm going to see if I can get this to tip. I don't want to put the full one on. Let's see how we get on. Because one is, yeah, look, see it lean as it goes out. Yeah, a bit of a tip on that as it turns. So you've got that nice suspension movement. You've got a bit of rock there on the suspension. That's cool. Let's see what they have lights on them. I think I put this one tip side. I want to say tip side left. Unload. 
Yep. That one's tip side left. So you can change the tip side, left or right. What I will do is back up and... Huh, I'm a nightmare. Nightmare! It's my own fault for not tipping it in a sensible location. Like a cell point or a silo. So, as we can see, we can hook them all up together. And I think I went tip side right on the rear one. Let's unload that. Just wonder if that's got enough oomph to pull it. As you see, the suspension, look at that movement on suspension too. Awesome. So, great capacities, brilliant prices, nice set of options on them. That's the pack of Side Tipper Trans 100 TC by Rowley Christie 1 BSR Modding Sir. The last two mods we're going to be looking at, we need to change, not location, but we're going to change environment, I think is the best way of putting it, is it environment? Mm. You'll see in just a second. We're here, but we're not here. We're, you know, we're, we've got some snow. We need some snow for the final mod, but I thought what I would do was do the two sets of wheel loaders together. This is the the CAT 966G loader by Janamsk. 28.07 megabytes download, 23 slots on console for the actual wheel loader, and then three slots for the bucket. The bucket is a 5,000 litre bucket. As you can see, it's got all the CAT detail on there. Um, unfortunately, it just doesn't have the CAT logo because we're on console. It's time to let the CAT out of the bag. You're welcome. So... It's a fair size wheel loader, 260 horsepower, if I recall correctly, from setting this up a mere few moments ago. Obviously, this is a bit unorthodox, and the lighting's not great because I've had to put seasons on to get the snow for the last mod. Obviously, within the seasons, the sun doesn't get too far up in the spring, so we've got lights and stuff on, but you can still see the mod, and we can still see it in action. So under wheel loaders... The 966G loader is 175 grand. I say for the base model, there are no options available on this at all. 260 horsepower, as I've said, slot count will drop down from 23 to 2 for any subsequent one. And that's what you get. You get the loader. Runs at 22 miles an hour. And then if we go to tools and wheel loaders... 966G bucket is 1,400 slot count. We're going to go down from 3 to 1. It does pretty much everything to 5,000 litres. And same with that. There are no options available. Let's hop in and start it up. Lights. Horn. Beacons. It's a big old unit. I like it. We'll use the bucket to scoop up a bit of snow, since that's what we've got available to us. Not a bad tip height on that either, to be fair. It's not a high dump bucket, but it's uh, still pretty good reach. First person. Looks like this. So I knew I was going to get stuck as soon as I tried to move then. Brilliant. There we go. Just trying to go and turn around and get a little bit of light behind us if we can. Yeah. I mean, it's not really else, a lot else to say. Like I said, there's not many options on it. So many options, there aren't any options on it. But it's a big old loader with a 5,000 litre bucket. Um, it's under wheel loaders, so I would imagine, although I haven't tried, obviously there are so many mods and so many available, but wheel loader attachments will go on this. So if your 5,000 litre bucket's not big enough for you and you want to try something else, I'm sure, I'm sure, you know what, the only way to check is to check. Well, it was worth a check, and I'm glad I did. I've got a CSZ attachment. It won't attach to. 
So I assume it's only going to be the bucket it comes with. Let's just try a standard high dump bucket. And let's see. Let's lease that. Which is interesting considering the last mod we're going to be doing as well. So it will only work with the bucket it comes with. That, oh, I'll be honest, that that's fairly limits it, doesn't it? It's a nice mod, and if you want to go for something with a bit of a cat feel to it, that really limits it as a wheel loader if it will only attach to the bucket it comes with. Hmm. Okay, well, well. That's the 966G loader by Janamsk, which takes us to the last of the mods for today. And it's these. This is the LM62640 Snow Attachments by North Modding Company. 3.48 megabytes download. We have got the bucket. We have got the V snow plow. And we've got the dozer snow plow. Uh, the bucket's five slots. That's three slots. That's three slots. Now, as we've just found with the 966G, um, these attachments will only work because they are the LM620 640 snow attachments, they will only work with the Voivo, the um, Volvo NMC LM620 640. That, I've reviewed previously, has had an update, I think, or a couple of updates since then, but 19.83 megabytes download. It's a fantastic loader, and you'll see why it's even more fantastic with these bits, if you're doing snow, obviously. Um, but these you will find under wheel loaders, We've got the standard snow bucket, which is 2,500 litres, which comes in this pack. There are no options available. It comes in that yellow. And then the other two are found under tools and miscellaneous. The V snow plough is 1,300, and the dozer snow plough blade is 1,200. Now, these both say 9 miles per hour. Um, yeah, um, let me just show you something. Love the way that starts up. So we're not reviewing that, we're reviewing this. So, 2,492, I can't get it to go to 5,000. It will do at some point, but that's your bucket. It's not a high tip or anything like that, high dump, it's just standard bucket, unloads fairly quickly. All very nice. What's more interesting is these. Because sometimes with these, when you're trying to clear snow, if you want to do a massive amount of snow, the big NMC, that huge dozer, oh, mine's gone blank of the, the, the designation of it, but we can rotate, lift, tilt, and this pushes to one side. There's no adjustment on the angle of that, I don't think. No, it's set at an angle. Oh, hang on, unfold snow plow. Ah, so we can switch sides, brilliant. I wasn't sure. Um, so we can switch sides, but here's the thing, it says it runs at 9 miles per hour. Let's put it down, and watch. <laughs> That's clearing snow at 16 miles an hour. Now often when you push into the side with various different snow plows, they get a little bit bogged down sometimes with it. Not this. This thing is absolutely bonkers. I do love the animation of the snow curling around over the top of it. Um, Clearing snow at 16 miles an hour with absolute ease. It, considering it's a fairly small loader, it has no problems whatsoever. So that's the the um, leveller dozer blade. Um, the V plow. I mean, that's the same thing, but it, I just think it's even better. I love it. I don't run seasons very often. A few times I have. When I did it on six ashes, oh, I could have done with this. So let's get a light on. Don't need that on. Don't think this unfolds or anything. No, let's just let's just put it down, shall we? Again, we've got a bit of an adjustment of angle and tilt and stuff like that. Let's get it down a nice angle on the floor. And let's get rocking and rolling. Same thing. We we will get up to 16 miles an hour, but it pushes both sides rather than just one side. There we go. 16 miles an hour with ease leaves a night nice. nice um, Nice path, track for your vehicles to run on. That's bonkers. It's not getting hung up on the ground, on the grass. Getting a bit of bounce there, but I mean, that's kind of to be expected. We can adjust it, but that's crazy. I mean, yeah, if I slow it right down, I'm going to be a lot more precise because I'm going to lose my bounce, aren't I? And if I go at what it says at nine miles an hour, that's absolutely perfect, but 
Who wants to go at nine miles now? We can go at 16. That is awesome. That is so good. So, there we have it. That's brilliant. I'm so impressed at the LM62640 Snow Attachments by North Modding Company. And that's it for the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.